Hi, in today's video, we will understand that how a HEPA filter having a retail capacity of filtering 0.3 micron filters the bacteria which are smaller than 0.3 micron or particulate matter which are even smaller than the 0.3 micron. So let's understand. So there are four mechanisms which are utilized when we talk filtration. So first is straining. Straining is like nothing but when the pore size of the sieve or the filter is smaller than the pore size of particle, then it will get filtered. So when the particle size is bigger than the pore size, then simply it will get stuck, retained into the filter sieve and it will get filtered. So HEPA filter structure is not a, like a simple sieve. It's a complex fibrous structure made of lot of fibers which are interlinked, interconnected, creating a complex mess structure. This structure overall provides lot of surface area for the filtration, lot of fibrous structures to entrap the filter particles. So when the particles are passed through the HEPA filter, when air is passed through the HEPA filter, the particles which are there, which are larger than 0.3 micron, it will be entrapped into the structure, which is because, because of the larger size. This is, this is first, me, me, first mechanism where the coarse particle or larger particles will get entrapped into the HEPA filter. Sometimes there are pre-filters utilized before passing the air directly to the HEPA filter to remove the very, very large particles and to prevent the choking of HEPA filter or blocking of the HEPA filter. The second mechanism is inertial impaction. So when the, the particles are smaller, like 0.3 micron, then what happened when the particle because of its velocity it's, it, the particle travels in air through certain velocity and when it, when it impacts the structure of the HEPA filter it because of the impact it attaches to the structure of the HEPA filter it att attaches to the fibers of the HEPA filter and gets retained so because of the velocity and impact it gets attached to the structure of the HEPA filter the fibrous structure and it will not go beyond that it will get entrapped there and there onto the fibrous or fibers which are there into the HEPA filter structure. So second is this, that inertial impaction because of impact onto the structure, because of impact on the fiber, it will get attached to the fiber, glass fiber or the material which is used for the HEPA filter manufacturing, it will get attached to that and it will not go beyond and how it, that's how it is get retained into the HEPA filter structure and air gets filtered. So this is the second mechanism where the smaller particles are retained equivalent to 0.3 micron now third is interception so the particles which are smaller than the 0.3 micron so these particles are small so small and they don't have any mass so when when they travel through the HEPA filter structure they'll when they when they come in contact with the fibrous structure they'll get attached to the fibrous structure and they don't have enough mass or weight so that it will not get carried away with the air velocity. Because of very small mass and very small size, it will get attached to the fibers and it will get filtered. So this is in, in interceptions where the smaller particles, very small particles because of very low mass, they, when they pass through the HEPA filter, whenever they come into the contact with the fiber structure, it will get attached to the fiber structure. So the particle size is small smaller than the fiber the, the pores which are there so it will travel through the pores but the moment it will come in contact with the fibers within the HEPA filter mass it will get attached to the HEPA filter mass and it will not go beyond and that's how the smaller particle which are smaller than the 0.3 micron gets retained within the HEPA filter fourth is diffusion so the particles which are very very small they 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 have brownian movement so what's we know brownian movement i'll just explain with an example so when when you in a water still water if you add a, a drop of color liquid color if you add a drop of color and don't stir it so after some time after a certain time the color droplets will it will spread into the entire water mass without stirring it will get spread how so each molecule has their own Brownian movement. It gets continuously in motion because of that Brownian movement. The color particles, the color molecules will get spread throughout the water volume, throughout the water mass. So small particles also have the Brownian movement and they keep moving while they are traveling into the air. 
So when they enter into the HEPA filter structure, at certain point, it will come into the contact with the fibrous structure, fibers, and it will get attached, attached to that. So the, because of their Brownian movement, it keeps in motion and somewhere while they are moving, whenever they come in contact with the fiber structure of HEPA filter, they will get attached to that, they will not travel further and that's how they get removed. So hope this small video will make, uh, make you understand that how the HEPA filter, which is rated capacity is 0.3 micron or bigger particles, removes the bacteria or particles which are even smaller than the 0.3 micron. So straining, inertial impaction, interception and diffusion. These are the four mechanisms by which HEPA filter removes the uh, particles and microorganisms various sizes from the air when air is passed through the HEPA filter. So hope this makes you, uh, this video is will make you understand how the HEPA filter works to remove the particulates and bacteria from there. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel PharmaWay and you can share to your friends. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching my full video. Thank you.